Here's some examples of division involving fractions. Normally when dividing by a fraction, we rewrite the problem as the multiplication problem. Dividing by five halves is the same as multiplying by two fifths. So two thirds divided by five halves is the same as two thirds times two fifths. So while it might be tempting to try to simplify this problem here because of these twos, we don't want to try to do any simplifying until it's written as a multiplication problem. And notice as a multiplication problem, nothing simplifies. So now we'll multiply the numerators and denominators. So two times two is equal to four, and three times five is equal to 15. So two thirds divided by five halves is equal to four fifteenths. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, the first step is going to be to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Dividing by 16 ninths is equivalent to multiplying by 9 sixteenths. So we'll have 8 twenty sevenths times 9 sixteenths. Now before we multiply, we want to try to simplify this, which means we want to simplify out any common factors between any numerator and any denominator. Now even though you probably know your multiplication tables well enough to identify some common factors between eight and sixteen as well as nine and twenty-seven, I'm going to rewrite everything in prime factored form. The prime factorization of eight would be two times two times two. The prime factorization of twenty-seven would be three times three times three. Nine is equal to three times three. Sixteen is equal to four times four. So in prime factored form, we're going to have four factors of two. And now we can easily identify the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Here we have one, two, three factors of two common. And here we have two factors of three common. Now when we multiply, this will already be in simplest form. In the numerator, all of these simplify to one. So we have a numerator of one. The denominator is going to be three times two, which is six. So eight twenty-sevenths divided by sixteen ninths is equal to one-sixth. I do want to make one quick comment here. Instead of writing this out in prime factored form, we could have identified a common factor of eight between eight and sixteen, meaning there's one eight and eight and two eighths and sixteen. And we could also identify a common factor of nine between nine and twenty-seven, meaning there's one nine and nine and three nines and twenty-seven giving us the same product of one six. But I think when you're first learning, this prime factorization technique here is nice because it's very similar to how we simplify fractions. And it can also be helpful when adding fractions when we have to obtain a common denominator. I thought we should take a look at two more division problems involving fractions. The first step will be to rewrite these as multiplication problems. So instead of dividing by eight or eight over one, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this will become sixteen thirty-fifths times the reciprocal of eight over one would be one-eighth. And now before we multiply, we want to simplify. This one's pretty straightforward to simplify. If we notice that eight and sixteen have a common factor of eight, instead of writing everything in prime factored form, we could take a shortcut and just write sixteen as two times eight, leave thirty-five the way that it is, leave eight the way that it is, and now we can identify the common factor of eight here that's going to simplify to one. Now when we multiply, our fraction will be in simplest form. So we'll have two times one, that's two, and thirty-five times one is just thirty-five. So sixteen thirty-fifths divided by eight is equal to two thirty-fifths. Let's take a look at our second example. Let's write this as a multiplication problem. So twenty-five forty-six divided by forty sixty-ninths is the same as multiplying by sixty-nine fortieths. Now to simplify this before we multiply, I think we'll write each number in prime factored form. So twenty-five would be five times five. See, 46 would be two times 23, and 23 is prime. Now 69 is divisible by three, since the sum of the digits is divisible by three, meaning 
six plus nine is equal to fifteen, and since fifteen is divisible by three, so is sixty-nine. So sixty-nine divided by three is equal to twenty-three. Is equal to twenty-three, so the prime factorization of sixty-nine is three times twenty-three. And then for the prime factorization of forty, we'd have eight times five, four times two, and two times two. So we have one, two, three factors of two and a factor of five. And now we can simplify. So here we have a five over five, that simplifies to one. Here we have a twenty-three over twenty-three, that simplifies to one. And it looks like that's it. So now we can multiply and know that this product will be in simplest form. Our numerator is going to be five times three, that's fifteen. Our denominator is going to be two times two times two times two, that's going to be sixteen. So our quotient is equal to fifteen sixteenths.